Selecting a business plan to obtain funding from a bank to open a small transportation company. Good, good afternoon, my name is Abdul. The reason why I selected this topic is because I recently had to help a friend out create a business plan so he can open his own transportation company. Today I'll show you how to effectively build a business plan in order to obtain, to obtain funding from a bank anywhere between $200,000 to $400,000 in order to buy a truck and a reefer. A reefer is pretty much a refrigerated container. Just to highlight one of the main advantages of owning your own transportation company is you'll be earning $1.70 per mile compared to $1.30 per mile working for a company. And this is based, uh, based on research I've done in the industry and based on what my friend told me. Today I'll be talking about the seven main sections of a business plan which include the cover letter, executive summary, business description, the marketplace, sales and marketing, business operations, and finally financials. The first section of the business plan, which is the cover letter. The cover letter should be brief, concise, it should identify you and the firm, and it should identify the reason why you're submitting the business plan. Also, please remember to include the, your name, your address, the, your, your business name on the top of the page, and uh, who you're directing the uh, business plan to, which is usually the bank manager. Typically, the length of a cover letter is one page. Just keep it one page. Don't go over one page. You, wanna, you don't want to bore the audience out. Moving on to the second section of the business plan, which is the executive summary. I cannot stress how important the executive summary is. Write the executive summary once you've completed all the other sections of the business plan minus the cover letter. The, the executive summary summarizes all the other sections. It includes um, the amount of financing and resources needed, the intended marketplace, your target customer. Uh, it gives a quick background about, about yourself. It describes the business and projected sales and profit. And it also includes the competitive advantage. The competitive advantage is very important because it helps distinguishes you from all other competitors. Typically an executive summary is one page. Keep it one page. Again, you do not want to bore your audience and you want to engage your audience. Moving on to the third section of the business plan, which is the business description. The business description is straightforward. It lists the vision and objectives of your business. It lists the short and long term goals. It also highlights the competitive advantage. As I said before, the competitive advantage is very important because it distinguishes you from all other competitors. Typically, the length of a business description is two to four pages. The fourth section of a business plan, which is the marketplace. The marketplace includes uh, the industry, information about the industry, information about the market size, uh, information about your com the competitors, and your target market. Pretty much the bank needs to know that you've done your research and you know about your you know about you know a lot about the industry about your competitors you're aware of all that and uh, that will help you obtain funding typically the length of, of a, the marketplace section is five to ten pages a good, a good place to start is governmental websites or try the Ontario Trucking Association to obtain all that information Moving on to the fifth section of the business plan, which is the sales and marketing. Pretty much the sales and marketing highlight, uh, highlights this, the main strategy of how you're gonna get the name, how are you gonna get your name out there? What kind of marketing tools you're gonna use? Are you gonna be uh, hiring a salesperson? It also includes how much you're gonna charge your customer per mile. Typically this, the size of a, the, the length of a sales and marketing section is two to four pages. Moving on to the sixth section of a business plan, which is the business operations. The business operations includes the team. Uh, it can only be you. And please remember to highlight in a paragraph or two your qualifications and experience strictly related to the trucking industry. The business operations also include, includes the sections about uh, your suppliers and mechanics. This shows the bank uh, this shows the banks that if anything goes wrong, you know who, you, who to contact and can go back on the road as quickly as possible. The business operations also contains the contingency plan. Contingency, 
the contingency plan includes uh, all the insurances you have, who is your lawyer, and who is your accountant. Typically, the length of business operations is two to three pages. And finally, financials. Please, uh, I would highly suggest that you talk to your accountant before constructing the financials, but the financials include the balance sheet, which is the assets and liabilities strictly to the business. Assets can include the truck, liabilities. I mean, assets can include a truck, uh, computer, phone that you own to operate the business, and any liabilities you own on that. Your income statement includes all the revenues and expenses. The monthly cash flow includes highlights uh, month by month your sales and expenses. And finally, your personal net worth, which uh, highlights your assets and liabilities. Assets can be your house, liabilities can be your credit card. Provide for all these statements, provide projections for the next two years, and also go back one year and show, show, show them Show the bank uh, the numbers from from now. Uh, I mean, a year previous to, to today. Finally, I would like to remind you that the executive summary to leave it till the end. Uh, talk to your accountant about the financial plan. Go over the business plan more than once. Check that the, all the headings are correct. Some headings are there, and also the business plan should have a business language. Should it should sound professional. And finally, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you that the ideal length of a business plan is 20 pages minus the fin financials and appendices. Cover letter and executive summary, one page each. Business description, two to four pages. Marketplace, five to ten pages. Sales and marketing, two to four pages. Business operations, two to three pages. And I said the financial it doesn't matter because uh, you usually stick that towards the end, but. You can, uh, financials is not a lengthy section, so please talk to your accountant concerning that. And that will conclude my presentation. Thank you.